guys, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, just a couple of things. If you haven't already, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, that's the best way that you guys can support my channel. It's definitely by subscribing and liking, and I would totally appreciate that. With that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into your reading. All right, Gemini, let's just go ahead and hop right into your reading. For Geminis that are currently connected or in committed relationships, what is this older energy? Or what, what is the current romantic situation for Geminis that are currently committed or have somebody lingering? What what is their what is their current romantic situation? Gemini, how Gemini views it. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the fool, the magician, and the hierophant. Geminis that are newly single or have a newer energy coming in uh, or are dating. What, how do they view their current romantic situation? Okay, we have the King of Wands here, the Ace of Pentacles. Now, let me say this, Gemini. I've recorded your reading twice. Um, and the one thing for your new person that kept coming in, it was all Aces. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Um, wow, Ten of Pentacles. And you also have Strength here as well. I feel like this. I think that you guys are going to be surprised. Let's talk Gemini as a collective really quick. As a collective Gemini, I feel like you've been through a lot. I think that you've been through the ringer. And I think that you are somebody that's constantly tried to fight for some type of connection. I'm saying that because we have the five of wands right now. Um, there was a lot of battles. I feel like you were fighting spiritually, mentally, emotionally, maybe with your top person, right? The person that you guys have been dealing with for a period of time. And I feel like you're now in a place where people are understanding your worth. And now it's like they're starting to fight for you. There's going to be competition, okay? Five of Wands, competition on seeing you, on dating you. I definitely feel like there's something here where you are going to have a lot of suitors that are trying to go for your attention and you are going to have some type of choice here to make. Now, let's go ahead. Let's start with the top, the top peeps. I feel like um, you viewed this connection as one that was very slow moving. I think that you always wanted to take things to a different place, but I always feel like there was something that stopped you guys in the process. Um, possibly dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, you have Aquarius and Pisces energy here, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, and then you also have Taurus energy here as well. Okay. What do you want me to tell them? Why? Why were things moving slowly with this person? Why, why were things moving slowly? Temperance. Okay. For a lot of you guys with this person, there was always somebody else involved. I feel like that this person would go back and forth between. And I feel like this person needed a level of time to decide whether or not they wanted what they wanted, right? Do they want a commitment? Yes or no. Do they want to be with you? Yes or no. Do they want to be with Sally Joe? I don't know, but there's something here where this person wanted to take a level of time to decide what was best for them. I also feel like too, though, with temperance here, there was a lot of healing that needed to happen on your person's end. What's new beginning here? What is Gemini view that's new? There's something here that's going on though. There was some type of ending um, and it can be an ending to you overthinking things or you just being tired of not saying something where maybe it's like you kind of had that energy of like, screw it, I'm gonna do what I want. What do you want me to tell them about this full energy, Gemini? The Geminis that are currently the fool with the Ace of Cups. You see what I'm saying? It's like, for whatever reason, this person now, it's like they're willing to take some type of leap of faith. It's like they already know what they want. They're very determined. And I also, I don't know why, but I get a very possessive or controlling energy when it comes to your person from the past. Um, damn. With the Two of Cups. So crazy with the Two of Cups and the Emperor. That also came out in the reading that I recorded that I'm not going to post. Um, here's what I'm gathering. I feel like Gemini, you've done something very special to this person. This is something that they cannot explain. The two of cups to me, that is, that is an undeniable connection. That is a soul connection. That's one that's Venus and cancer, right? Th this is a connection where, um, you feel very territorial over this person. Like, let's say, for instance, you guys aren't even talking to this person or you're at odds with them. 
you still have a lot of love for them. You still are in love with them. And I feel like it's because you're connected on some different type of level. I also feel like with you and this person, possibly the person um, may have a zodiac of the snake, um, not a zodiac, a Chinese um, zodiac, possibly of a snake. Um, but I feel like there was a lot of protection. For me, snakes represent protection. And I definitely feel like here with the two snakes, it's like both of your ancestors are kind of combining right now to try to provide you this bubble of support in order for you and them to be together. Because with the Hierophant here, there's something that's being made right, I feel like. Um, for some of you guys, you may be looking at the situation, looking for this person to do the right thing. Wow. Or you may feel like this is a situation that involves marriage and that this is some type of divine connection that you can't break free of, right? You, you're being led divinely to this person and that's how you're viewing it. What do you, how does Gemini feel about their current connection with, with, their, with this person or their current situation with their person up top? How does Gemini feel about it? Wow, okay? Gemini's like, I don't know, right? Why does Gemini not know? Let's ask, why does Gemini not know? Okay, the tower with the six of pentacles because Gemini, you have other options now, right? Down here, there's somebody very solid. You have the king of wands, ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles in strength. You're being made different offers now, six of pentacles, where now you have the ability to decide. You have the ability to choose who you want. And I think for you, it's surprising because you felt like you would always be into this person, but now there's these other options. Now, if you're a Gemini like, yo, I don't have another option, you may be confused for those of you guys that are not seeing anyone else and it's just your top person, then more than likely what's happening is you're confused because this person is now putting in the work and they're now giving to you. And for you, it's, it's almost like, why are you doing it, right? It's shocking. It's like everything you've asked this person to do up until this point, they're finally doing. All right. So for those of you guys that have somebody new coming in, um, how you view your situation is this is a very passionate one. You're very um, encouraged. You're very happy about what's going on here. You feel like this is somebody brand new. This is a fresh start that possibly is definitely for you may lead to a level of partnership. And I think that you're very focused on what you want right now. Let me see. What do you want me to tell them about this King of Wands for their situation? This is something that's very passionate. Oh, wow. King and Queen of Wands. You're very attracted to this person. There's a lot of sexual energy, a lot of sexual chemistry. Um, and I feel like you and this person fit each other. You, you and this person fit well with one another. Okay. Ace of Swords. I also feel like you and this person are in the talking stages. You, you may be getting to know this person. And for you, it's a new start. And I think it's a level of clarity. What do you want me to tell them about this Ace of Pentacles? Okay, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. How does it make you feel, Gemini? The King of Pentacles. So I feel like for me, the Four of Pentacles can mean a lot of things, right? But this is 100% Capricorn energy, Sun and Capricorn. But I feel like there may be some type of new commitment here from a Capricorn or a Taurus, possibly. There's some type of solid commitment here because this person is coming up with all pentacles. Now, up top here, this person had zero pentacles. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of emotion. There's a spiritual connection. But there's never been anything very solid here where I feel like this person coming in, your situation is that you're discussing when you're going to meet each other, when you're going to see each other, how things are going to go. What does this person want? And I think that you're very focused on a new start or this person is focused on being with you because they obviously see your potential here, especially with this King of Pentacles. How, because how you feel about it is the King of Pentacles. It's like you view this person as somebody finally knows what the heck they want. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Gemini's situation with this new person? Wow. Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. How does this make Gemini feel? How does this make Gemini feel? Okay, seven of wands. I also think too, you may, with this person, there may be something coming up that stalls you guys. Possibly. 
Like there's something here that you and this person need to have a conversation about that you may have a conversation about that may kind of put you on the defensive here. What do you want me to tell them about this? What do you want me to tell Gemini about this energy? King of Cups, Page of Cups. It's something you're not expecting. How does Gemini feel about this Ten of Pentacles? Five of Wands with the Empress. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this person may want to move very quickly and you want to pump the brakes. Because how do they view it? You, you view it as this person wanting to change very quickly. I feel like there, it's like a very quick change. And I feel like for you, it's like you encourage it, but at the same point in time, it's like you're still trying to put a level of distance in between you and them. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's, you know what it is? I think for you, Gemini, you need to take some time right now to figure out what you want. Do you want a commitment with this new person? Are you planning on working on it from the person from the past? I think that you're surprised at whatever is happening here. Because you know that if you really do sit here and commit to this new person, you are going to have to completely have an ending with this past one. You can't have both. Gemini's like, but I'm two people, so don't tell me what to do. I feel it. Don't threaten me with a good time. But at the same point in time, you have somebody very solid here that wants commitment. And this person up top, they love you. They want to work on things. But aside from the Six of Pentacles, which is kind of, you know, off and on energy, I feel like this person, um, I don't feel like they know what they want. They go back and forth so much. It's, it's almost like this person is cool for two weeks and then they resort right back to what they usually do. All right. Can you give me some, how does Gemini view their current person? Or can you give me information on who Gemini is connecting with romantically? Gemini's person from the past or Gemini's that are currently in committed relationships? Okay, Wheel of Fortune. This person can be at a distance from you. They can be a different nationality or different ethnicity. Um, this person is very abundant, possibly um, is financially well off. Um, Queen of Swords or Page of Swords, you may not be speaking to them. And Ten of Wands. There's a lot that's gone on between you and this person. A lot. And let me just keep going and then I'll come back up. Hold on. What about... Uh, how does Gemini view this other person coming in, this newer energy? How does Gemini view their newer energy for those that are single or currently dating? The newer energy, wow. The lovers, you really do like that person, it looks like, in the chariot, okay? Five of Wands is here. The Five of Wands is like, wait a minute, hold my beer. Okay, we have the lovers, and we also have the tower. Can I be honest? I feel like there's a lot of change coming. It's a lot of movement and a lot of change. And there, I feel like, I feel like this. I feel like for you, Gemini, right now, you've gone through some huge transformation. I feel like you've really had to morph. I feel like you guys genuinely are the butterfly where it's like you had to let something die in order for something to come back around. I also feel like there is a clear decision here that has to be made. And I think that you're struggling because you know that you have to make it. What do you want me to tell them about this person? Um, Wheel of Fortune, I think that this connection with the Wheel of Fortune, something has definitely changed, okay, with your past person where it's made you feel like all of a sudden something possibly is renewed. This person now is putting forth the effort or putting forth the action and trying to rekindle some type of romance. And I feel like for some of you guys, it almost feels like you're back from when you very first started dating. Let me say about this Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. How does this make Gemini feel? King of Pentacles, reverse, and death. I think part of the problem is that 
you want to move forward, but somebody here may be a uh, stuck with work, okay? Because nine of pentacles to me is a work card. That's also Venus and Virgo. You feel like this person puts most of their energy into work. So for you, it's almost like you get left to the side here. Okay, two of pentacles. It's, it's, it's almost like, let's say this person doesn't have another person that they deal with, but their work is like, that's their, that's who they cheat on you with. It's like your, their work. I don't know how that makes sense, but it's like this person always goes back and forth with exactly what they want because it's like, do I want to be single or do I want to be with Gemini? And I think that it is a tough decision that they need to make, right? They're at a crossroads. They're taking some time to determine what's best for me. How do I move forward, right? This is Jupiter energy, Jupiter and Libra. How do I, how do I move forward to make things um, harmonious? It's like this person doesn't want to leave you, but at the same point in time, it's like they're not offering anything substantial, and for you, with this page of swords here, I definitely feel like this person is watching you or stalking you, okay? I definitely feel like this person, if they are communicating with you, they're talking to you in a way where it's very optimistic, but then at the same point in time with the high priestess and the five of cups, it's like still part of you feels, part of you is still worried or grieving with what this person did. Because how does this make Gemini feel? See the hermit. It's almost like you need time to really reflect and soul search on exactly what you want. Because for you, Gemini, I feel like something about relationship is coming to the forefront. And I feel like you're tired of waiting. You're tired of being alone. You're tired of having this level of distance. And for you, it's like, I don't want to miss out on some type of opportunity that's coming in because I'm sitting here waiting for this person to take a leap of faith or have some type of new start. So I feel like you're worried about that. But the problem is also, I think that you desire more and there's been so much that's happened between you and this person that it gives you anxiety and it stresses you out because you don't know exactly what they want. Okay. Wow. The lovers and the hierophant. Whoever this new person is, you have a very good energy towards them, okay? Page of Cups, I think you're surprised at how they communicate. You're surprised at how well they talk to you, how emotionally um, developed. I don't know why that came through. And they feel very genuine to you. Um, this person also may be, um, like I said, they. this is somebody also that's coming in that I feel like as far as like, um, how do I explain it? intuitively, uh, spiritually, I feel like this person is on your level. That's what I'm getting. And I think that you're really surprised. Why is Gemini surprised? Why are they so surprised? It's like you're surprised by how they communicate to you. Seven of Cups. It's like this person is very clear, I feel like, with what they want from you. Very clear. Why is the tower here? What, what What's causing this tower moment? Because I feel like you're also shocked. Like, where did this person come from, right? It's like a total turn of events. Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. How does this make Gemini feel? How does this make Gemini feel? Mm-hmm. Judgment. I also feel like with the tower... You know that you have a lot of people watching you. And I think intuitively, you also know here that this person may be your person, right? Queen of Cups, King of Cups over here, but it's with the moon and judgment. It's like, I think you're having some type of aha moment that while you're taking a seat back and watching, possibly with a tiger, um, tiny zodiac of a tiger, but you taking a step back and kind of evaluating or watching the process, it, it is giving you a different level of insight. Because for you, it is a brand new start here. And it is a start that you feel like can go the extra mile, right? Four of Wands, this is very sexual. This is a very passionate relationship, passionate situation, possibly can involve 
um, marriage or pregnancy, I guess, if it goes the part. But this is a very solid connection, especially with this um, chariot here, right? The chariot to me is obviously victory, right? It's two people being on the same page. I think you feel like this person is on your level. They're on your same page. And I feel like you're curious to see where things go. You're curious to see what happens between you and them. It's, it's, it's really interesting. And I think that you feel like you and this person very well could get along for the long run. Why is the five of wands here? I feel like for you guys, the divine, how does Gemini feel about this? You're going to have a lot of options. Okay. How does Gemini feel about this? Five of wands. New start. But how do they feel about the action? How does their new person feel about this five of wands? I feel like the five of wands is on your end. Yeah. See, five of swords. I think, Gemini, to be honest with the Five of Wands, you're going to have to make a decision with who you want to go with and who you want to stay with. Because there's options. I think that you're going to have to do the hard thing. You're going to have to figure out what is the best choice for you. Where are you going to invest in? Is this person going to invest in you? Because there is a brand new start here. But you have to end something. The problem is I feel like this person maybe doesn't know about your connection with this person up top. Maybe they don't, maybe they know about it, but they don't understand like how, um, how strong the relationship actually is. All right. What's coming, shit. What's coming in for Gemini over these next couple of weeks? What's coming in for Gemini and their person of interest romantically? This top person, what's coming in for Gemini and this person romantically? Some of you may be getting proposed to. There's some type of new start here. There's communication coming in from this person and also some type of commitment here. Now, I wanted to stop really quick. Um, if the, all this is gonna be in the extended, that's where we go over everything. You guys can see um, currently on the screen right now, um, all the questions that we ask, but it's pretty much, how does your partner feel? What do they want? What are their next actions? Your advice, the outcome, and then also what's coming in for you guys. It's great. Um, all right. What, what about this new person? What's coming in for Gemini and this new person over these next couple of weeks? Gemini and their, this newer energy. Okay. Hangman. The star. Kind of interesting. And remember, we had the tower moment in the same place for this person. And the star comes after the tower. Okay. The wheel of fortune. And the two of swords. So, Gemini. If by chance you want to know more about this as well as everything else, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you can purchase the extended. We're going to go over all of these cards and much, much more. If this has provided enough clarity for you guys, I love you so much and thank you for all of your support. I appreciate you. I love you and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.